Johan, bro, a lot of people want to invest in Cleveland, as you're aware, right? You're investing in Cleveland all the way from New York because New York's really expensive. Cleveland's really cheap. Cool thing is a lot of those people that are not in the know, they're going this way. Me and you, brother, we're going this way, and we're going to find a deal that's actually better than a lot of deals that appear to be better, but those got hidden costs, hidden problems, hidden traps. I work you through that stuff, brother. That's what I'm here for. That's why I'm your guy. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to bring y'all the deals. This one's a little sleeper, right? 3826 West 17th, 117th. Uh, been on the market for 20 days, and it's priced at 149700 And I like the fact that it's priced that high, right? I think this is a little uh, sneaker, sneaky deal here, right? Uh, the listing agent only provided exterior photos, but that's all I really need, okay? Because I got uh, basically all the intel, putting two and two together. Uh, I think we can get a big movement off of that list price from these folks, right? Here's the situation. First of all, it's located in Cleveland, right? If you don't know yet, you need to know about the new lead laws in the city of Cleveland. Uh, this is big. This has completely changed how we invest in Cleveland real estate. I have a link to a video where I explain the whole process below. It's like a half-hour video. If you're going to spend money in Cleveland and you don't watch it, well, you're going to get screwed. Okay, This property is going to be the kind of property you want to target. It's not been lead certified, as has like 70,000 Cleveland rentals, because apparently no other realtors or investors happen to know about these new laws. But that's okay, because when you actually have to certify this one, and again, how that process works is in that video, this will be no big deal. First of all, it's not that old, okay? Lead paint was outlawed in 78, but they really started like uh, – fizzling down how frequently it was used throughout the years. This was built in 51. A lot of the stuff in Cleveland was built in like 1915, 1920, 1925, right? So we already have a newer property, so much less likely it has any lead paint in there. Second thing you need to know is when you're going through this process, the properties that are going to have a lot of issues uh, that are going to be expensive to get it lead certified is going to be the windows. If they're the old wood windows, you got a problem. This, not the case. You got vinyl. Secondly, it's the exterior, right? The old wood siding. Here we have a combination of brick and aluminum siding. So more or less, this is going to be no big deal, right? This is like the kind of property we want to target, right? Right now, before people go through their first round of lead certifications, we want to avoid properties unless we get dramatic discounts that have wood windows or wood siding. This does not. But here's the good part. I think this is going to sit stale, right? Because, dude, the owner... Probably just a mom and pop owner who just accidentally ended up with this rental. I looked them up. They've owned this for like 25 years. They probably used to live there, and then they just put tenants in there. Never raised the rents. Talked to the listing agent. He's like, yeah, these are great tenants, man. Why are they great tenants? Because they're paying 450 and five and a quarter, and they're month-to-month -month tenants, and they've been there forever. Yeah, no wonder they're great tenants, bro, because they're getting like half off of their living expenses. They better be great, dude. They're getting charity from this owner. Of course they're great, right? Uh, so the fact that I don't have interior photos is okay. I know everything I need to know. Log type tenants it's been in there forever. You're going to have to do unit turns on these units uh, when you move them out, right? So we don't want to jack their rent up to market rent immediately. Probably want to go like go up 150 on each of them. Uh, immediately, and then another 150 till you eventually get them to market. If you could keep them in there without having to do a turn, that's going to be good for you, right? Because I'm sure the turns are going to be like 10, 15K because the units are super dated, right? But there's such a housing shortage. Even if you jack up the rent 150 bucks, they're still under market, right? Because long term, this is what you're looking at. $825 units, folks, $1,650, right? When you run the fixed and variable expense estimates, I project this property kicking off a little bit under ten k for the year. Now, comes to price, $149.7. I don't think we need to pay $149.7 because 
Owner occupants want to live in properties in this neighborhood, right? They're not interested. Okay. People that want a house act, they're not interested. There's two tenants in there. Okay. Then that leaves investors. Well, investors look at it like 150, but the rents are like 450 and five and a quarter. And the units are dated, they're passing on it. They might not understand that, dude, these are $825 units, bro. So I think we could leverage that. And the fact that we know, because, you know, we're watching my show here, we know how important it is with the upcoming lead laws that this has got the brick and the vinyl and the aluminum. We know that a lot of other people aren't paying attention to that. They might try to buy something a little cheaper that's got the wood siding, get hammered six months from now by the city because of the lead stuff. But, hey, the market, uh, the tenants' current rents were higher, right? That, that might happen. Let them do that, right? We should focus on this one, which is going to be the better long-term investment. And I think because a lot of people aren't paying attention to it, they're just looking at current rents, not focusing on the big picture. I think we could beat the seller down, get them like 20K off, man. I want to try to pick this up at 130, right? Because that's where I, I really feel like we can get it done, right? Often uh, in this market with so many duplexes getting sold like this, I wouldn't say like, yo, we should try to get a 20K discount off a list. But I think we're going to get uh, lucky on this one because I think everybody else is going to be focused on properties that have higher rents uh, but have a bunch of lead work coming up that this one won't have because again most people don't even know these lead laws exist right so that's their fucking problem you you're smart though you watch my show and i give you the due diligence and that's why you guys work with me as your boots on the ground here in cleveland so if we pick it up at 130 you put down 32 and a half bank kicks in almost 100k long term we're gonna be almost 15 percent cash on cash let's go Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.